Okay, so it's bright and sunny now, and we can see the traction cables that pull the tram along this uh, set of rails, and we can see the cable coming to a stop now. So basically, basically the trams run on the support rails on rubber tires, obviously. But the traction is provided by this central uh, core cable that's quite thick. And the trams basically uh, clamp onto these cables, uh, which pulls them along. And as you can see, the one on the other side of the uh, platform is currently coming to a stop and the one on outside the platform should start moving shortly that was come to a stop so the advantage of this kind of uh, system is that it is very safe because it is impossible for any accidents to happen as the trams will always be spaced out um, spaced out correctly so there's no chance of collision and also it makes the trams oh there we go this one just started to move and it also makes the trams a lot lighter and uh, uh, easier to move all right so i just noticed that this um, cable is now moving the opposite direction which means that the tram is coming back this way so it seems to be uh, bi-directional so the thing I'm trying to figure out is and that's probably the answer there is how the trams get power for the air conditioning and the lights and the answer to that probably lies with this tiny power rails here four power rails that provide electricity so right now I need to head in this direction but as you can see there isn't a platform on the opposite side so I think I've got to hop on the next tram that goes uh, to the left and then um, maybe stay on it to get back to the right to Mandela Bay the next stop on the left should be Excalibur and the one on the right should be Mandela Bay so um, yeah we'll see so now we can see that the cable on the other side is moving and the train is going to run from the uh, right to the left I think and now the tram has arrived so we need to board this one I don't think the doors there will open but actually very small and once again the lights and air conditioning are powered by the four rails at the bottom at the side of the main support rails so now once again we can see the traction cable that pulls the tram along and it's obviously reeling the tram in and there it comes in the distance so we're gonna board this tram to get back to uh, Luxor and to Mandela Bay Here it 
cable on the opposite side this is also running but I don't think the, tray, the tram will terminate here because there are two terminal buildings at uh, Excalibur and the other building is very far out there it's very confusing and of course it says Express Train to Mandela Bay because there isn't a platform at Luxor on this side of the uh, railway Wow. Mm -hmm.